Okay, get into character here, Tony. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Folks, Tony. You're always in character. <laughs> Folks, here tonight with my good buddy, Isaac Hoff. And Isaac has one of the coolest jobs ever in the world. He designs and builds zipline adventure parks. What all, you do tree houses, you do bridges. What all do you guys do? I mean, it's like a ton of and stuff. Climbing towers and adventure parks. And playgrounds. Playgrounds. And they're all very rustic, cool looking. And, and mm -hmm. before we go too far into just seeing us, we want to show you something really cool because one of my buddies and I, Jamie Hastings I took his drone and I shot some ground shots and went up to Beanstalk Journey, the Beanstalk Journey in Morganton. And I got some aerials and I just kind of sprung this on Isaac. He's going to just graciously take us through a bit of this because it's kind of cool. We just did this for fun. So Isaac's going to fill us in a little bit on what we're seeing here. I'm going to hit play, Isaac. And uh, so here, this is the entrance, right? From yep. what's this road here? This is the the uh, bypass from Morganton and which the... Uh Entrance to Catawba Meadows is also our entrance for the Beanstalk uh, zip lines. And so we're kind of approaching that. I see that's your office there, the red thing on the yeah, left. Yeah, the red building right in front of the front of the baseball field is our office. And to the right here on the screen is the entrance to our zip line course. And that segued right into it. Pretty yeah, cool. We, so call, we call this the uh, Giant's Chair. The Giant's the Chair. Thursday, if you and it, a, this is where you start out when you come in. And uh, so Jamie and I are going to fly over. How many zips do you have in this park? We have five zip lines. And we actually, we have two parallel courses, and both of them have five zip lines. Um, and there's a series of bridges also to get to the start of the zip line. So this is a big bridge going over to the climbing tower, sort of, isn't it? Yeah, that's called the Grandfather Bridge. Wow. And, um, and, and, and so, you know, the thing that blows my mind when I look at this is what does it take to design this? I mean, this, this is crazy. It looks like a spider web or something. <laughs> it is. It's, it's a lot of creative minds uh, put together to create these uh, structures. So it's you and Mike Fischesser, and who mm -hmm. else? Do you, have, do you have more than these guys? Well, that... well, well Mike, Mike is the owner. I'm director of operations. Then we have builders who also do in, input. And then we have the input from engineers. And then when we have a client, we have input from clients as well. So it's a it's accumulation of a lot of brains um, figuring out what is the best fit for the for the topography, of the land, and for the each different each, each different site. So it's so now now we're looking. Catawba Med is actually one of the smaller zipline parks that you've done. You, you've done mm -hmm. them where all? Where all have you done some ziplines? So we've done some up in West Virginia, uh, Birmingham. Um, South Carolina. South Carolina. You it's, did one at the park, right? At the animal park? Am I crazy? Uh, we did at, at Riverbank Zoo. Riverbank down, Zoo. Down in yeah. South Carolina. Yeah. Um, we, we, we did some structures at the North Carolina Zoo. Uh, you know, that, so we're looking at some people zipping from above. How hard is it your first time to go out and have a good time? Is it, is it something easy to catch on to? Is it? Well, I, I think the hardest part, this is the first zip right, right there that we're looking at. And the people sometimes get hung up because it's really unnatural to step off of a deck yeah. Hanging by a tiny tether. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So well, once people get over the, the first one, which, which is, is, is a shorter zip, you know, we, we have it in progression so, that, so they build up. So once they do the first one, they're a little more confident. And then by the last one, which is the uh, long, long zip, people are usually amped up and, and, and ready for the, the excitement of the longer zip. Now, so we're watching some people go up in the front, from the giant's chair mm -hmm. and getting up here. So... Uh, tell me this. One thing I think, I think everything you guys do is beautiful. I mean, do you think about the, the aesthetics of these things when you do them too? Oh, abs absolutely. Like right, right here you see on the, uh, on the railings, we use uh, mountain laurel to yeah. give it a more of a natural look. And actually this one has poplar bark siding around the base of it just to help, help it blend in with the trees. Because uh, most of the time these are built in a natural setting and you want them to, you know, blend in with what, what, with their surroundings. So, uh, so, so what people can do to actually go and let's, let's say you want to have a zip line in your area or you want to have mm -hmm. one in your community or, or, or you want to just get behind the note or maybe you want a zip line on your own mm -hmm. land somewhere. You, you go to what? Uh, BeanstalkBuilders.com. Is that right? BeanstalkBuilders.com. And we have, have, have different, uh, different pictures of the different structures that, that, that we do, um, you know, that, that we talked about earlier. And then there's contact information on there as well. And, and, and yet also for this particular park, it's thebeanstalkjourney.com. Correct. And so I'm going to do, on this video, I'm going to put these uh, 
links there in the description of this video so you can go mm. and learn more about what Isaac does. And, and you, it'll blow your mind mm -hmm. uh, as the video comes to an end here, the kinds of things that they build. And it, it is amazing some of the photos that you've shared with me. It is. It's, it's a lot of fun, a lot of fun projects that we've worked on. Uh, you know, um, it's fun. Yeah, here I am now. I, I I have not been able to do it. I've gone up and washed it because I mm -hmm. weigh three hundred pounds. <laughs> I got to get down to two fifty. Two fifty oh, is yeah. and under that sort of the absolutely, limit. absolutely. Uh, if for anybody that wonders, like those cables that you're zipping mm -hmm. on, they can hold like incredible well, amounts 30, of weight. Thirty thousand pounds is what they're really thirty thousand yeah. pounds. Yeah. So that, that so it's it's not a matter of the cable being strong enough. Mm -hmm. It's a matter of how fast you'd be zipping. Yeah, right? the, the, the they're they're calibrated so seventy to two hundred fifty pounds will come in with a reasonable speed. If they're lighter than seventy, they won't make it all the way. If they're heavier than two fifty, they have potential to come in with a little too much speed. Folks, please do go check out Beanstalk Builders and the Beanstalk Journey. Learn more about what Isaac's doing. Again, if you are are looking to build. A treetop adventure, a beautiful treehouse. The treehouses are awesome. A, the, a bridge, a playground, climbing towers. It just goes on and on and on what you guys do. And it's I think it's brilliant work. Uh, so check out their website. Peace to all who watch and subscribe if you like. Thank you.